Now, this next one, I, I'll, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of surprised. I'll be more surprised if it actually happens. And that is that HBO Max is reportedly working on a Black Canary movie starring uh, Journey Smollett. I, I believe that's her name. I'm blanking on her name. Journey Smollett. Bell? Journey Smollett. The same actress from Black Canary in Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation emancipation of one harley quinn she'll be back as as the lead role cool but hbo max you've announced quite a few things as of recently um and only one of them really has shown two of them have shown some signs of development like you've cast for black not black uh for batgirl and for blue beetle i'm getting my wires crossed You've announced the cast for those, but you've announced a lot of stuff for HBO Max that really has not gotten off the ground yet. Or a lot of projects or DC movies that have not gotten off the ground yet. Looking at you, Nightwing. Looking you dead in the eyes, Nightwing. Or the Green Lantern Corps movie. Not the show, but the movie. Like, a lot of DC stuff. Until it's actually rolling in front of cameras, I don't know if I believe will actually happen. Now, as to the casting, I thought she was great in Birds of Prey. I didn't mind Birds of Prey. There's quite a few people that didn't really dig it. I didn't mind it. It was better than I was expecting it to be, but I don't think it's top tier DC. And I think a big problem of that was marketing. I am a diehard DC Comics fan, and even now I'm watching a lot of the trailers going... So who are these people supposed to be? Yeah, obviously you got Harley there, but like Black Canary didn't really look or act like Black Canary for most of the trailers. Huntress was kind of weird in most of the trailers. They're more more closely resembling their comic book characters in the movie itself, but even then it felt so very early prototype version of these characters. Canary does have a great moment that I would like to see expounded upon that does harken back to more of her comic book origins that I very much enjoy. However, I'm still just going, I'll believe it when I see it. I think this actress is super, super talented. Apparently, she'll be reuniting with the writer from uh, Lovecraft Country who will be writing the movie. And this actress was known for being on Lovecraft Country. I think that'd be great. Maybe this is where we can get a theatrical version of Green Arrow. I wouldn't mind an Arrow and Canary movie, please. I would be absolutely down for that. I want that to happen. Uh, I want a theatrical version of Green Arrow, which again, it's too bad they had to have Ewan McGregor's Black Mask. Not he wasn't. Not that he wasn't great in Birds of Prey. He was fantastic. But I've always wanted Ewan McGregor or Charlie Hunnam, one of the two, but preferably Ewan McGregor as Green Arrow because, dude, he would just be way too perfect for this. So I guess I'll just have to settle for Charlie Hunnam, which is. I feel like we say that a lot about a lot of different roles of, I, I guess we'll settle for Charlie Hunnam. No, no, if it's a Charlie Hunnam, he's great, but very rarely is he anybody's top pick for casting choices. But I think this could be a lot of fun, uh, so long as the direction and the marketing is a lot clearer than Birds of Prey, which still to this day, it should have just been called Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. That, I think, could have added easily... Another 10 to $20 million opening weekend. I think the name and then changing the name when the movie was in theaters to something else to Birds of Prey made it that much more complicated for people. Like the movies really isn't not that bad. Some of the action scenes I have some issues with, but as a whole, Birds of Prey was a interesting enough movie of something different and refreshing with some fun characters to be introduced like Black Canary, but yeah, I think there's more possibility. There's more potential in a spinoff. But again, this is one of those I believe it when I see it. And maybe it's just me. I don't know too many Black Canary villains. Like, do we bring in some Green Arrow ones? Like a Prometheus, maybe? Or like Malcolm Merlin? I, I don't know. Do we have her do... There's that Arrow script. The Green Arrow movie from... I believe the mid 2000s script of well what if green lantern green lantern green arrow everyone gets those mixed up uh what if green arrow gets stuck in a prison full of people that he put there so what if black canary gets stuck in a prison with people that she put there i think that could be a lot of fun i would like to hear more about the movie that 
Uh, she was in kind of alluded to it, but I would like to know more about the dynamic between her and her mom, who was the original Black Canary. I think that could be interesting, kind of like uh, what's it? Silk Spectre in Watchmen of, okay, what's the difference between you and your mom in terms of super heroics? Uh, I, I think this could be a lot of fun. I think this could be interesting. But again, add it to the pile of DC projects that have been announced, and I won't believe until it actually starts rolling. Like Black Adam, didn't think that would ever actually happen because of how long ago that was announced. So it gives me hope that maybe we'll get a Nightwing movie someday. Um, but again, this could be fun. It's just a matter of, are you actually being serious? Or are you just kind of announcing this to announce this?